Well, well, good to see you again, Gomez. It's been a while since, oh, I don't know, 2011, 2012, was it? It's Fez, you guys. Fez on an iPhone or iPad, if you prefer. And my word, it's nice to see this game again because look at the clever things that it does with the perspectives and the swiping and oh, lovely. Right, so you may know this game because it got quite a lot of press attention back when it was originally uh, released because of indie game The Movie, which featured Phil Fish, the designer of the game, and he talked quite candidly about the issues that he'd experienced uh, trying to get the game to market and how long it took to develop and everything. And in the end, there was a sequel planned for the game which got cancelled because he was basically just catching loads of negativity from it. And frankly, it's a real shame because this game was a bit of a gem. People consider it one of those kind of indie darling things, but it really was very clever because it took the idea of a classic 16-bit 2D platformer and then added this additional layer of complexity to it, which I've already kind of shown you here, by being able to move the screen and the world, move the buildings in it, around a central axis. So I can swipe one, two, three, and four, and I'm back to where I started again. And so this 3D building is then flattened out into a 2D plane, and that creates a really interesting environment to navigate and a way to solve problems because you create platforms where perhaps there weren't. So if I move this here, that, that stairway has gone. But I can bring it back over here. And there we go, run over there. I can swipe now. You see it can creates a completely different... I'm still connected to that platform. See how that works? It's mad, isn't it? It's a lovely thing to get your head around and it's a lovely way to try and solve... Uh, puzzles and deal with the space that you're in. Get up there, Gomez. Let's head into this building and see what we can find. What we're really interested when it comes to the mobile version is how the controls stand up, of course, and they've used touchscreen controls, floating joy pads, essentially. So you're up, down, left, right, and your interaction. So I can jump and I can punch, which is the action button, or I can talk to people. Uh, equally, I can just swipe around this room, see if there's anything else in here. Anything else good? Oh, it's the back end of a, a little camera. That's nice. That's cool. But I don't think there's anything of particular interest, so let's get out of here. Now, I'm swiping the screen to move the environment around. That's possibly the best concession to mobile. That feels really, really natural. And it's something I think you use shoulder pads, shoulder buttons on the console versions, which also works really well. But uh, it just feels perfectly at home. I can just swipe the screen and boom, it whizzes around. That's great. What's less great, perhaps, is, you know, little jump buttons on the right-hand side of the screen. A little bit fiddly, a little bit more awkward to press. Oh, I've got one of the blocks. Fantastic. If you haven't played before, I'm trying to collapse. Sorry, collect these little cubes, all of which add up to one great big giant cube. Uh, I need to complete that to, to get, out of the, get out of the area. Also, do excuse me if I sound a little bit less coherent. I'm dead ill at the minute. I'm running the winter lurgy sore throat thing, uh, so apologies. I've, I've been off, that's why there hasn't been any videos up recently. Uh, but I'll, I'll get there. I'm, I'm, I, had, I had to jump back into the studio to bring you Fez, because I thought this was really cool uh, to see this on mobile. I'm interested to see how Phil Fish feels about this, to be honest with you, because I don't know if, I presume he all the rights still belong to him, and uh, he's the one who okayed this and thinks it's a good idea because I could see him being opinionated about how hey this won't work on mobile or mobile controls will suck or something like that see see what I mean I can't jump to that top platform which I want to get to but when I swipe it flattens out onto a 2d plane and I can now jump onto this bit how cool is that there you go another cube to add to the multi cube hey duck I, I, it's not a duck is it it's a little seagull I can't talk to him, he ran away. What? A boring seagull. Let's jump over here. Mm. Now it's a tricky game, and it's one that requires a great deal of patience and mapping in your own head. You have to do a lot of backtracking, you have to hop between different worlds, you have to really, really remember where you've been, where certain doors are, where the portals take you, and it can be punishing. It's not an easy game to get on with and it's not one that really leads you by the hand uh, and that's what a lot of people liked about it because it is it demands that little bit more from you than a lot of games do and you either get on with that or you don't you know like you might like it you might not 
I was quite charmed by it. I didn't finish it, I'll admit. But uh, I did find it impressive. Let's get down here. I can see another block down there. So just hold down. Oh! That's not good. I think... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. It'll just die again. All I'm trying to do is kind of drop down. Yeah, down on the action. Down on the fist button will drop down. That's good to know. Oh, we got another one there. Lovely. We're going to be doing a review of this over on Pocket Gamer. A full review. Uh, I just wanted to show you the basic mechanics of how the game works. And how it feels. At first play, anyway. On touchscreen. And I am fairly comfortable with it. I, I do feel that the jump stuff could be a little bigger. I'd like the jump button to be a bit bigger because I do find myself missing it. I'm sure I'll get used to it as I play just because, you know, I'm not used to playing it on this platform. But it works! And that amazing Disaster Piece soundtrack is there which was just is fantastic and if you haven't had a chance to play it for whatever reason, now is your chance because it's a cracking game. And there's a lot to be found. There's a lot of reward to be gained from playing this and paying attention. Uh, so, keep your eyes peeled for the official review when it goes live. And in the meantime, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.